roadside uh, adventure for the RC. And what I'm gonna call this is the adventure wall. Now, as you can see, it's so steep that I can't take my XCX6 up where, uh, where I can't get it. So I'm gonna put a safety strap for myself so I can be on the wall as it tries to make the breach the top of this because I mean, it's steep, it's steep, guys. It's definitely <laughs> steep. So this is my SCX6 Steady Foam Edition Humvee. And it's got straight axles on because it's an SCX6 uh, chassis and setup. I just love how tough this looks with the bumper deletes. So, um, got my DX5 controller and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna climb up this thing. So, uh, let's do some testing on the steady foams. safety line because it's like four thousand dollars it's a big tumble and it's enough to just crush me so i have to go on the safety line now than dropping a bunch of money. Please be careful. Oh, front tire is coming up far. If anything to grab that tire, I mean, we're at the high point for there. So touchy, I need to get a better. back up, evaluate where we're at with the rock. We have like a high point and a low point here. Maybe better to breach over there. Cause they push my driver if I can catwalk a little bit. I feel like if I can get into that notch over there, I can let it press. Ooh, so much weight. So much weight on that tire. Look at that. Oh, come on. Come on, climb for daddy. Climb for me. 
back sliding a little bit for sure like even with the big stiff thumbs this thing is trying to dig oh goodness it's trying to dig with that front tire off the ground oh that front tire is coming up pretty high i'm wondering what i can do about that There we go. There we go. Gonna make it up to that, that bridge. Right there. there we go. Put that, get that front tire down. And I should be able to find the other ridge. Babe, scoot out of the way in case it tumbles down. Maybe you go on the other side. I'll go on this side. Yeah, this rig is like 30 pounds. So you definitely don't want it to hit anybody rolling down on something like this, because this would break your arm or your leg real quick. Oh, I'm on a branch. I'm on a stupid vine. The vine is taking all my traction. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, so I pretty much breached on the top there. I guess I could try to side hill some over here, get myself up and over. There's not really stay anywhere for me to go. But you know what? Since we're here, guys, we're just gonna keep going for the breach. See if you can't grip. Now I'm just in dirty, dirty, rotten hippie leaves up there. So I have a question though, if if you're in it and you're doing it and you let off the gas and it rolls back, does it count as a backup, does it? Kind of just like momentum doing that to you? Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's how steep it is. Come on, come on. Come on, big tax. Come on, big tax. I'm working my way over the little burnout effect. Oh, look at that boom. Got some traction on that one. A little bit more. That was the adventure climb, and uh, we almost made it to the top. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, just a little performance check on the uh, steady thumbs. If you have an SCX six and you find yourself leading the tire to stop folding or grabbing in like really small situations, well, check the link below down on Etsy. Free shipping, fifty bucks for a full set, uh, handmade in Nashville. Besides that, hope you guys enjoyed the climb video, and keep on crawling. So I was just reviewing the video because I got to go do my crawler. Now we have to go shopping. Totally a trade-off. Totally cool. Stoked she does the trade-off for me. But what I've noticed is that my front end isn't compressing very much. And I actually lowered my um, suspension. I took a little bit of the travel away. And I think I'm going to add some weight or maybe a softer spring up front so that it'll sag down. And I would love you guys' input on what we could do so that uh, I can get that front end down. So I think it would crawl better with like just some compression on those springs and not just all the weight back. And I already have a bunch of the preload on the rear springs. So yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for the tips down below.